Hey guys, Elian D here. I wanted to get this video out really quick as a guide to get the Hug Everlasting achievement in Star Wars The Old Republic. So please pardon the very rough, very ugly state of this video, but it will show you how you can get the Hug Everlasting achievement in about six hours as long as you have five or ten characters that you can do the activities on. And keep in mind that if you have access to Mech Shaw, you can most likely go there no matter what level your character is because the area that you'll be going to is a combat free zone. So as long as you're not in a PvP instance, you should be able to go to Mech Shaw even if your level is lower. I'm not 100% sure about that, but if you can't go to Mech Shaw, then you can just do more instances of Nar Shadda. So again, please pardon the crudity of this model and here is the guide. So let's take a look at some of the tips. First, let's take a look at the achievement. The achievement is called Hug Everlasting and if you press Y on your keyboard, you want to go under Achievements, then Events, and then General and you'll see here Life Day. And on this bottom row here, these are all the Wookiee Hugging achievements. Now last year I did get Wookiee Hugging Champion when it first came out which was a thousand Wookiees and it was harder than this one because last year there was only one planet to do it on and it was Nar Shadda. Now this year we have two planets Nar Shadda and Mech Shaw. and this final achievement here is the Hug Everlasting Achievement. So the way this works is you go around Nar Shadda and Mech Shaw and you hug Wookiees. I have been able to find 25 Wookiees to hug on Nar Shadda and Mech Shaw. There are 13 on Nar Shadda. There could be more, but I've only been able to find 13. And there are 12 on Mech Shaw. There could be more, but I have only been able to find 12. So that's a total of 25, which means that each character that you do it on, you will get 25. So if you do it on four characters, that's 100. If you do that 15 times, which is easier to do than it sounds like, if you do that 15 times, uh, you know, you'll be done. If you do it on 10 characters, then you only need to do it less. <laughs> oh my God, what is happening to my math? <laughs> I'm usually actually pretty good at math. I'm doing it across 12 characters. So on my 12 characters, I'm averaging about, it's about 300 uh, when I go through the full set of 12 characters. But I haven't done that yet. I've only done it so far on about four or five characters. So let's start the process and I will show you how this is going to work. So the ideal way to start this, that's the fastest way, is in your Nar Shadda stronghold. So you want to start off in your Nar Shadda stronghold and then exit to Nar Shadda. And that is going to put you in the perfect position for starting the rotation that I have identified as the most efficient both in time and you know bang for your buck rotation around the Wookiees. In fact while Nar Shadda is loading let's take a look at the first Nar Shadda route that we're going to take. So basically this is a map and I will have links to these images in the description and the blog post. Uh, for this video. But basically this is a map of the Nar Shadda route. So when we land on Nar Shadda, we're going to land right here by this little stronghold icon. And I've actually marked it white here. So we're going to land right here in this area by this stronghold icon. Now there's a Wookiee right here and you will be tempted to run and get that Wookiee. But when you do that, you're going to end up doing back and forth. So if you just stick with the route that I've mapped out that I'm going to show you, it will be very efficient. So the first thing you want to do is as soon as you land, you're going to go in this tunnel here and you're going to get these two Wookiees. This one, come around and get this one, come back in the tunnel. So we're doing a counterclockwise rotation and it's extremely efficient. And you're going to end up at this Wookiee right here. And then you're going to go up the ramp and do the Wookiees that are upstairs. So there are 10 on the lower level of Nar Shadda, and then there are three up top. Now, if you come in via the fleet 
to the Nar Shaddai spaceport, the most efficient way would be to take a taxi, not quick travel. Because if you quick travel, you're going to end up either in the cantina, which is not so bad. You can still come out and do this route. Um, and I was doing it that way. The, the time difference may be negligible for getting from the cantina through the tunnel versus taking a taxi and landing here. But if you take a taxi on the pub side or the imperial side, you're going to land in front of one of these Wookiees. So if you land here, and I don't recall, let's see, this is this is an Imperial character. So this looks like the Imperial taxi. So if you're on an Imperial character and you take the taxi, you're going to end up here. So you can grab this Wookiee, grab this one, then come in through the tunnel here and start the roundabout, which goes like this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. You want to do it like this, four, five, six. Then come over here, get this one, seven, eight, nine, 10. It looks further than it is, which you'll see in a moment. Then you go up this ramp and then you have 11 and then you go to the next upstairs. This is 11, 12, 13 and you're done with Narshada. Okay, so that's how that is going to work and we're about to do that right now. Okay, so now we are on Narshada and we're going to do the rotation. Okay, we have landed here. Okay, if you quick traveled into the cantina, you would need to come out. Okay, the cantina is over there. Here's the cantina. So we're going to do, we land like this. When you land on Narshada, from exiting your stronghold, you land like this. And over here is that Wookiee that's on the stage, that tempting Wookiee that we saw on the map earlier. Don't go to him. Don't be tempted. Okay, do an about face. The tunnel is right in front of you mount up and I just can't resist uh, handling red droids so mount up go through the tunnel when you come out of the tunnel here's your first Wookiee so he's right here they look further away than they are alright so now before you start moving into position like final position always wait for the button to show up because Sometimes, especially when you get good at this, you will be in position. You might arrive at the Wookiee in position. And if you don't wait for the button, then you're missing some, you're wasting maneuvering time. Okay? So what you want to do is always click on the Wookiee first that you're going to go to and then move into start moving into position wait for the button to come up and then move into final position now I have heard some guides say that you want to be directly in front of the Wookiee but as you can see you do not have to be directly in front of the Wookiee to hug him you do not have to be on this arrow point okay the area that I usually aim for, let's go to the next Wookiee and I'll show you. The area that I usually aim for, here we're going into the second tunnel, you can see there. The area that I usually aim for is right to the, just to the right or the left of the arrow. So when you come out of the tunnel, there's a Wookiee right in front of you. And I think what happens sometimes, uh, I heard one guide say that there were 11 Wookiees on Nar Shada. There aren't. There are 13. But what I think happened is that maybe they didn't get the ones, those two outside, and maybe they missed this one. Because if you just focus on this middle area in here, you might miss this guy because he's very hidden. If you get tempted and you go to that Wookiee that was on the stage, that remember I said to ignore him, and then you start just doing the Wookiees over on that side, over on this side, because it seems like there are more over here, and there kind of are, you could miss this guy because he's hidden behind this big thing, whatever this is. He's, he's kind of hidden. And unless you know he's here, it, he's very easy to miss because I did 
several rounds before I even found him. Um, so then mount up, look for this set of stairs, go under the stairs to this Wookiee right here. He's our first guy that we saw on the map. And we're going to hug him. Now another tip is if the Wookiee is not selected, the button won't light up. So you want to make sure, let the button come up before you start moving into final position and then move into final position with the Wookiee selected. Okay, make sure the Wookiee is selected before you move into final position. Another thing to remember or to note is that if someone else is hugging the Wookiee, your button will not light up even if you're in position. So, for example, like see how I have, now I have my companion selected and my button is grayed out even though I'm in position. But as soon as, and then see how it's grayed out even though I'm in position while she's hugging the Wookiee and see how it just lit back up? So, you want to pay attention to that when you're moving into position and don't move around if somebody is hugging a Wookiee or if you don't have the Wookiee selected because you can waste some valuable maneuvering time uh, it, if you're not if you're not set up right um, you could be in position and think you're not because you didn't uh, because somebody was hugging the Wookiee or because you didn't have the Wookiee selected okay now we're going to go over here. We went, that was the GTN one. And I know I said don't be tempted, but I can't help it. Okay, now we're going to go over here to this guy. See, here we are on the map. We're over here. We just left the GTN, which is over here. Now we're over here with this guy. This guy is number eight, it looks like. And see, I'm just to the right of the triangle, or just to the left. That works. Sometimes you can be further out, too. Now, this Wookiee here by the hut butt, this is the next to the last one on the bottom level. He sometimes has a bug where you could actually be in position, and he'll say you're too far away. Didn't bug this time, but sometimes it bugs. So sometimes you have to get into position twice on this guy. So after you finish the hut butt wiki, which is right here, we're going to go up and we're going to get the stage wiki. Just go up here. Okay. Normally I don't have lag, but for some reason today I am. Let my button come up. Move into position. Hug the wiki. You'll also notice that I wasn't facing him directly, and my button still lit up. You do not have to be facing the Wookiee directly for your button to light up. I have heard uh, guides say that you need to be facing him directly and aim for the point. You don't have to do either of those things, as you can see. Okay? Uh, aiming for the point. All right, I aimed for the point. I got it. But I'm not technically on the point. I mean, you can aim for the point. That works. But you don't have to aim for the point. That also works. Okay, now we're going to get these last three up here. I wonder what happens when this guy tries to attack me. I saw a thing where he was like, what's he doing? Oh, Theron shot him. I didn't, Theron, don't shoot him. I want him to attack me. <laughs> oh, I'll have to try that with uh, Theron or my companion put away. So I had him selected so nothing's going to happen regardless. Now I have the Wookiee selected and we're going to do fine. Now look, see I'm all the way over here and I'm lit up. I'm nowhere near the triangle 
but I'm lit up okay so I just want to make that point that you don't have to be in front of the triangle okay see how it went out while she's hugging him and now that she's done it lights back up now watch I click it my character turns around and hugs him so you don't have to be right on the triangle you don't have to be right in front of him you don't have to be facing him directly to get the hug it still works okay our third and final Wookiee is over here by GSI which stands for Galactic Solutions Industries which is in here where those holograms are and this is our third and final Wookiee on Nar and oh, I missed it there we go so the key to getting in position quickly and not having to RP walk, role play walk, is light button taps. Now we're going to head to Mac Shaw. So you want to do very light button taps. Not heavy and not like holding the button down. Just little dainty little taps. And you know, I know some of you guys might be like, I don't know how to be dainty. You can do it. It's just a little gentle tap. Like think like maybe you're going to break the key if you press it too hard and just kind of bounce your finger on either the forward or backward button and that little bounce will move you a shorter distance I find that it is more efficient to not put my character on walk but stay on run because by the time I put my character on walk take my character off walk put her back on because uh you know now I have to mount up or run to the next wookie it's just too much trouble if I just tap then it's done so now as soon as you get to Mech Shaw click your quick travel and head for Slugfall Harbor don't get on a taxi don't go anywhere just click your quick travel and go for Slugfall Harbor so when you're on a Republic character you're gonna be tempted again to go for another Wookiee that you shouldn't go for because it's inefficient. You'll be going back and forth. What, what I tried to avoid in putting together this rotation was any back and forth, right? So even though I'm avoiding, like I'm, it looks like I'm skipping a Wookiee, I'm not actually skipping. This is the tempting Wookiee. Don't go to him because you don't want to go back and forth. Just turn right, mount up, and head around this corner for these two Wookiees. So this is where we're starting. Okay, we're just gonna start here and we're gonna hug these two. And this is where we're starting, right here. This is the Republic side. So on the Republic side you start here and end here. In fact, let's take a look at the map real quick. So on the Republic side you start here. So you land here where you see that bender is. This is the Republic side where this white thing is. You come up these stairs. You're going to go to the right. This looks further away than it is. Okay? As you can see. So you're going to start here and you're going to end here where this character marker is. And on the imperial side you're going to come up the stairs here where this white is and this fender is and start with this guy and then you're going to end here. Okay, So it on the Republic side which is the side I'm on right now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And on the Imperial side, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's how that works. So let's go back and I will show you Mech Shaw in action. So we just hug those guys, mount up again, go back to this guy, the first guy that we saw. And if I wasn't doing this video um, sometimes I just stay mounted up 
and kind of land right on the guy, especially if nobody's there. Let's move, there we go. Again, I'm right in this area. I find that this area, these spots, the spaces, are the sweet spots. So now our fourth, one, two, three, four, fifth Wookiee. See, I'm just right on him. I'm also on the triangle now. So you can be on the triangle and get it, but you don't have to be, and I think that's my point, right? Um, he's right behind the Life Day vendor, so if you need to pick up a Snowball Bomb, which I actually had some characters that didn't have the, the Snowball throwing one, uh, so there's a vendor here too. So you could technically start the event on Mechshaw if you have access to Mechshaw. You don't have to start it on the fleet. Okay, there's that. And there I am. I just landed right on him. It was lit up. And that's another reason why that's kind of an example of why you don't want to move into final position or start moving until you have him selected because you never know you might actually be in position when you get there like I just was okay let's get this guy and we're almost done I think we've got two more yep there's these stairs right here, these stairs, these are the imperial stairs that you're going to come up. And you are not going to go to this guy first. This is your second guy. See, I'm already in position. That's why you don't move until the button comes up. Because if I had started moving, I would have lost it. And when you come up the imperial stairs, you come up and you hit this guy first. Okay. Now there are... This is our last guy, uh, if I'm on Republic and on Imperial, this is our first guy. Now there are Life Day droids down here, and sometimes they turn red. But for, as far as I can tell, as far as I've been able to tell, and I've been through here several times, there are no Wookiees. But there are Life Day droids that do turn red, and it, if I go over this I went over this too. This is where the casino was during the uh, nightlife event. There are sometimes droids. Here's a droid. Okay. Let's see. Let's get rid of. There are droids. Is he going to throw snowballs at me? Yep, he's throwing snowballs at me. He's not doing any damage though, but it's pretty cool. throwing snowballs at me. No damage. That's very interesting. And now he's green. So there are droids, but no Wookiees, as you can see. Yeah, so that is how you become a Wookiee hugging champion or get the hug everlasting achievement. And once you finish your mech shaw, just go back to your Nar Shada stronghold, log out, and load up your next character. So if you want to know more about Life Day, Swoterista, Eliva Gaming, and Zamzam over at MMOBits.com, all three have great guides to the whole event. I am putting links to those in the description and in this blog post. Thanks for watching. Have a great holiday.